We begin in Afghanistan, where the historic presidential election begins in just a few hours. At the same time, the threat of Taliban violence could deter voting. On Friday, one journalist was killed, another injured in an attack by an Afghan police commander. CCTV's Milani Wilkes has details. It is the third deadly attack on journalists coming on the eve of Afghanistan's presidential elections. The two women worked for the Associated Press News Agency and were riding in a convoy with election workers near the city of Host. Witnesses say a police commander walked up to the car, yelled, Allahu Akbar, meaning God is great, and opened fire with his AK-47. German photojournalist Anya Niedringhaus was killed instantly. Correspondent Kathy Gannon, seen on the left as a Canadian citizen, she was wounded by the gunfire. For years, they've gone in and out of the country, telling the story of the people and the heartbreak and the combat of that country. So it is with bitter irony that we learned they were attacked there today. Niedringhaus was a Pulitzer Prize winner whose photos showed the many faces of war, a young boy in Afghanistan, an American soldier on patrol in Iraq, a rebel fighter in Libya. Her colleague said she was determined to cover the conflict in Afghanistan to the very end. Friday's shooting was troubling, calling into question the loyalty of Afghan forces. Security is tight as Saturday's presidential election approaches. Ballot boxes are on the way to polling stations strapped to the backs of donkeys to be carried to the most remote of regions, while Afghan commanders continue to insist they can handle the Taliban's threat to disrupt the voting with violence. Malini Wilkes, CCTV.